Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today I want to share with you how I decorate and organize my son's nursery. He has an outer space nursery, so stay tuned for the nursery tour video. But today I just want to show you what I have in his drawers, how I organize everything, and just give you some tips and ideas on baby boy nurseries. So I hope that you enjoy this video. Give it a thumbs up if you do. Subscribe and don't forget to share. So let's get started. I want to start with the decor. I got this beautiful wooden balancing toy from Etsy. I just love the craftsmanship and that it is space themed. I also purchased this acrylic name sign from Etsy and I love how modern and simple it looks. And I grabbed this astronaut from Amazon and I love that the helmet has this golden detail it makes it look not that childish and more modern too as decor and also as something functional i grabbed these acrylic bookshelves i love them the books are spaced theme and i think it looks just really good with the whole overall theme of the nursery it's clean it's simple and modern I love how the acrylic bookshelves make the books look like they're free-floating. I also grabbed this beautiful golden round mirror at Marshalls and that lamp is from Target. Alright you guys, so let me show you what I have here in his dresser, how I organize it and the things that I use on a daily basis. He is currently not sleeping in his nursery, so some of this stuff I have in my bedroom, but for the purpose of this video, I brought everything that was in my bedroom also in this room. So in this corner, I have his diaper pail, and it is by the brand Munchkins. And I just grabbed this one just because I liked the aesthetics a little bit more than the diaper genie. And then over here, I have the diaper changing station part of the dresser. And this is a smart changing pad and scale. I really like it. It's by the brand Hatch Baby and it is very sturdy. It is kind of like faux leather and even though it's firm, it is also cushiony. And on top of it, I just have a little liner, but obviously you can use it without the liner and it is antibacterial. It is super easy to wipe and what I love about this is that I get to see how much weight my baby is gaining. One of the perks of having this diaper, the diaper pad and scale, is that I can also see how many ounces my baby is taking of breast milk because it is very hard to know exactly how many ounces he has drank. It's not like with bottles that you make him four ounces and if the bottle's gone, you know, he took four ounces. It's different with breastfeeding so I love that I can just set him here weight him without a diaper and then breastfeed him and whenever he is done I weigh him again and then I see if he took three two maybe sometimes four ounces and I know how full he is over here I have a wipe warmer I cannot remember the brand of this but it has a little lion over here and it also has a night light I am currently using this, like I said, in my bedroom and I hate the nightlight part of it just because it's kind of bright. So I tend to cover it up uh, with like a piece of tape. Um, but yeah, I like the warming element of the wipes. And then on this side, I have the Hatch Baby nightlight and noise machine combo. I really, really love this. I'm going to insert a clip of exactly what it does, but all you have to do is touch it and it turns on. It has different colors and different sounds, which I love, and all you have to do is, like I say, touch the metal part of it. And sometimes it doesn't have any sound. And you can control the volume. And then when you want it off, you just do that. 
All right, so let's start with the first drawer. In this drawer, I have like a honeycomb pattern. This is the organizer that I picked and I will leave the information of the organizer down in the description box below. I have over here his little mittens and I also have his socks. I think this is a great way of organizing little tiny things like this and it prevents everything from just looking messy and disorganized. On the next drawer, I have his diapers. It is super convenient because I have the diaper changing pad over here and I can just change him with one hand and grab him with the other, even though this also included a little belt, a security belt. So I have his diapers over here organized like this and by this little divider. And it's very easy to just take one and the, rests of, the rest of the diapers just uh, stay on like that. All the, way, all the way in the very back, I have his lotions. And these are the lotions that I'm currently loving. Actually, I've, all, I've only tried this one. This is what he um, uses whenever he's done taking a bath. And then I know that these brands are great. I have tried other products of the same brand, Pipette. And then this one is Babo. And the three of them score really, really good in the EWG, which is the Environmental Working Group. They have a page where they rate products according to the chemicals and like how healthy it is for your baby's skin. They rate a lot of different products, not just baby products. Next, I have this. This is dusting powder and it's literally just cornstarch with some essential oils and it is talc free. Then I have the diaper cream from the brand Babo, like I said. This one is a little bit more runny, but I still like it. And then I have the all-purpose balm. I've used this in many occasions, especially with my daughter Chloe for scrapes and cuts. And I also use this on my baby uh, once he had like a really bad patch of eczema. This is another diaper rash cream that I've used. This one is by the brand doTERRA. And the only thing that I didn't like is that it was a little bit too thick. And I don't know if it's because of the cold or what. Um, and then I have a foam hand sanitizer that is alcohol free. And this is my favorite diaper rash cream. It's by the brand Honest and it has a perfect consistency. My baby is currently 11 weeks old and he has not gotten a diaper rash. I'm very good about changing his diaper even if it's just slightly wet, but I also attribute um, the health of his skin um, on the quality of the brands and the products that I'm using. I also have this hand sanitizing spray and an extra diaper rash cream. Next, I have this baby oil by the brand Pipette. I love using this if I see a little bit of cradle um, cap in his little skull. And then this is a product that I also love. It's by the brand Bumco. And it is what I call a butt spatula. I like it that I can just place it over here while I change his diaper. And what this does is you literally squirt some diaper cream over here. And then you can just frost your baby's bottom. <laughs> and you don't have to like have your fingers all dirty. It's more hygienic. What I do is I just clean it between diaper changes and then at night I sanitize it. Then I have this eczema cream. I also use this in uh, Chloe's lip because she has some eczema patches. Charlie, that's not for you. What are you doing? Oh, he even thinks it's comfortable. <laughs> Then I have this baby balm by Pipette. 
I love this stuff. It has the consistency of like gel mixed with a little bit of oil. My baby was like, how do you say it? He His skin was peeling a lot, especially the first weeks and after baths. So I just applied this all over his little skin and it was very soothing and nourishing for his little peeling skin. Also, you guys, what I love about this dresser, it is from Ikea. I just changed the knobs and I will have the link of the knobs in the description box. I just wanted something uh, that was a little bit more modern because the Ikea knobs were just plain black. But what I love about this dresser is the amount of drawers. I love the little ones over here and then the bigger ones in the very bottom. The next drawer has more like hygiene stuff and medicine stuff. So I divided it and organized it with these plastic containers that I found at Target. And in the first little container, I have stuff more like for his um, personal care, like this infant cradle cap cleansing oil. I have not used this um, yet it has the brush included at the very bottom and then this is a soft bristle brush that I use every time he gets um, a bath it's wood I also got it from Amazon I have his nose Frida I love this product too and some nail clippers and then this little nail file and this cradle cap comb this one was from um, Frida Baby also, but I did not like it. It has like a weird, I don't know if you can tell, groove. So I don't know if I'm using it wrong or if it's a defectuous item or what. Let's move on to the next little compartment. Over here, I have this finger toothbrush. I asked my husband to get me a brush that I saw at Target to clean the baby's tongue. This is what I was talking about, but he got me this. Uh, but I think I can use it. It says three months plus, so whenever he turns three months, I'm going to start using it. And it's just for hygiene. He cleans the gums and the teeth. But this one, I was using it just to like clean his little tongue. And then I have a variety of different thermometers. All the way at the very back, I have some um, Q-tips that are baby proof and then in this corner i just saved the pamphlets or the instructions of the products just in case i forget what they are i have these ones in my bathroom and the windy just a few of these uh, little instructional manuals over here in this little compartment, I have some boogie wipes and they are just saline unscented wipes. And then I also have some pacifier wipes. I'm not using them currently just because he is not taking a pacifier. So I might find another, um, maybe I can use these for like cleaning my breast pump in the middle of the night. Over here is more like a little medicine cabinet. This is a probiotics that I'm currently using, but they expire um, a month after opening. So I ordered some new ones. This is the vitamin D that the doctor gave me. All babies that are breastfed um, need to supplement with vitamin D, which is great for their immune system. And like I said, it's a sample. So I had to order both vitamin D and probiotics. So what I did is I found this brand. I haven't tried it yet, but I know Culturel is a good brand. And it has the probiotics and the vitamin D all together. And I'm pretty sure as soon as I open it, I'm going to have to refrigerate it. So I will do that. I also have baby Tylenol. And then I have... Um, the breathe stick from doTERRA and it just has essential oils like eucalyptus and peppermint and stuff like that in case he gets a stuffy nose and then this product i absolutely love i would never think that i would say that but this is the windy by frida baby and all babies all newborn babies i would say are very colicky that's just something that comes with its territory they have a very 
immature digestive tract so they get very gassy whether you are formula feeding your baby or breastfeeding your baby they just get very gassy and this works like a charm every single time um I will let you research how you use this product, but I absolutely love it. It just relieves the baby of all the gas and he is very content and happy after that. And the last of the smallest drawers, I have some extra diaper uh, wipes and I can just refill very easily the warmer with these and then these are other brand of liners that i use this is more cushiony i'm not sure if this is also oh yeah it has like a little plastic thing over here so it is um so that how do you call it so that liquid won't pass through them and i love using these if i'm changing his diaper in a couch or downstairs or on the floor for whatever reason i just open it um and then i have some diaper pill refills i have the arm and hammer little deodorizers for the diaper pill and then these ones i don't know i thought they were also for the diaper pill but they're so small so i'm not sure what these are um when i opened it i'm like well i don't know it doesn't have like the sticky part to put in the diaper pail so i don't know why i would need this and then these are just disposable diaper um, dirty diaper bags that i have over here so that i can refill the little container that i have in my diaper bag let's go to the bottom drawers here is where i keep all of his pajamas because of everything that has been happening in the world and also because he is a little tiny baby and we don't have time to go out, he literally lives on, in pajamas. And I do too, to be honest. So I don't dress him up every day. He just wears one set of pajamas to go to sleep and the other one for the daytime. And I just have them over here. They are organized with these little containers that I got from Ikea. And they fit perfectly in the dresser. And I fold it like in a envelope type of manner, kind of like KonMari. And what I love about that is that if I want to get a set of pajamas, it's very easy to keep the rest still organized. And then the next drawer over here, I have his um, burp cloths and then these are all bibs. I don't have that many because he's not eating solids and stuff like that and he's not teething so he is not uh, drooling a lot but these are all of the burp cloths that I have and these ones are my all-time favorite. They're very fluffy and cushiony and thick and yet they are very soft. They are by the brand Copper Pearl. I have some more bibs over here, some more burping cloths. And then this section is kind of like his um, bath section. I have this extra shampoo and wash um, that I am not using currently. I will insert and pick a picture of the stuff that I'm using in my bathtub. I have some very thin towels for him and then this is like a thicker one and then these ones are great especially if you have a little boy you know that they tend to pee when you change his diaper their diapers so i just put that in his little private part and that has spared me from getting wet and then um here are some wash rags Here at the very bottom, I have more clothes. These are all his Muslim um, blankets. And more specifically, these are the things that I use to wrap them and to um, swaddle him like a little burrito. And then over here, I have onesies. These are currently newborn, so they don't fit him anymore. The rest are just short sleeve onesies these are long sleeve onesies and these are nine month old onesies and then these are just his little 
um, pants and I guess these are short sleeve onesies that are also like six to nine months and that's how I organize it these containers or like little dividers boxes came also from Ikea they came with the other four over here and last but not least here i keep his thicker blankets and some swaddles this is another swaddle i got from the hospital and then these three are sheets for the snoo and then this is his blanket his hospital blanket and then this are some other like warm receiving blankets and this is an extra sheet for his crib and that is how i organize this dresser thank you so much for watching this video i hope that i gave you some inspiration and ideas if you're pregnant or you have a little one and you want to decorate a room like this i hope that you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in my next video where I show you the tour of the nursery. I'll see you later. Bye.